So now we start with designing of a stable multivibrator using triple five timer which is designed for frequency of 1 kilohertz and we'll see for different duty cycles that is 25%, 50% and 75%. So how do we design using triple five timer? This is what is the uh, circuit that we have wherein the power supply that you can connect to this triple five timer ranges from 5 volts to 15 volts and the resistor and capacitor value will decide what should be uh, what will be the duty cycle based on duty cycle to which you have to design accordingly you have to select ra rb and capacitor value duty cycle expression is uh, given as t on by t on plus t off that is t on plus t off is total time t then frequency of the signal since we have designed it uh, for 1 kilohertz frequency we can verify practically also the same frequency using the expression 1 divided by t on plus t off so we will see uh, three different cases under this uh, experiment so now this is what is the circuit uh, which is uh, rigged up uh, corresponding to the A-stable multivibrator using triple five timer. And here we are expected to view two different waveforms. One is the charging and discharging uh, values of the capacitor that appears across capacitor terminals. And another uh, one is the final output that we get, which is uh, wherein a -sta since A-stable multivibrator does not have any of the stable state it will keep on switching over between maximum value and minimum value when it has to switch from maximum to minimum value depends upon the charging value that appears across the capacitor so now whenever charge across this capacitor reaches two third of vcc here in this circuit vcc value that we have connected is nothing but plus five volts so whenever charge uh, capacitor charges to two third of five volts then output changes from plus five volts to zero and output remains in this zero condition until once again this capacitor charge reaches one third of vcc so here these two are important points which we have to note down when calculating output you can see here we have both waveforms that is output waveform and charging discharging value across this capacitor so you have to note down from this reference line what is the potential point at which the capacitor uh, that is one third of vcc so practically how much you are getting here and practically how much two third of vcc that you are getting to calculate this practical value of one third of vcc and two third of vcc you have to consider once again practical value of vcc that you are getting even though you have given here five volts but here it may not exactly be 5 it may be somewhere around 4.8 or 4.9 there will be slight variation so considering that practical value of vcc you have to verify two third and one third of practical value of vcc of charging and discharging of the capacitor so now from this we will be able to note down how do we identify duty cycle so here T on duration should be measured and T off duration should be measured and duty cycle can be measured using the expression T on by T on plus T off. So this is what is output waveform that you are getting for 25% duty cycle. Suppose if you want 50% duty cycle then you have to interchange value that is change values of RA and RB accordingly and even similarly for to get 75% of duty cycle just by making um, use of diode and selecting equal value of resistors ra and rb accordingly you will be able to design it to get 50 percent so this is how uh, we can say that a stable multivibrator does not have any stable state but it keeps on switching over between maximum to minimum value based on charged value across the capacitor